viewers, how's it going? Uh, happy Tuesday. Uh, I just wanted to mention a few things to you uh, for this upcoming week. We are all at Beulah this week for our Illuminate. We're going to do an Illuminate Junior and Illuminate Senior. Uh, junior happening in the chapel, Senior happening in the sanctuary. And then for this whole month of May, we're actually all together. And what we're doing in this month of April, uh, end of April and May, is we're actually watching videos from our leaders and some students of their testimony, their story. Uh, this week we're going to hear from Ryan, Ryan Krawcheck, our intern, and we're going to hear his story and it talks a lot about self-image, so come prepared for that. And there's going to be a time of a, a video, a time of worship, and then at the end we're going to have some small group questions as well to kind of take your group through talking about self-identity and, and those uh, type of topics. Now what I wanted to talk to you uh, this week, this Tuesday was, last Friday we had Brett Ullman come and he spoke on depression, he spoke on anxiety, he spoke on all sorts of different topics. And so um, I was really impressed with this talk. It was a lot to fit into an hour and a half. And just one thing I wanted us to take from there that I thought was really important. He said, uh, I'm not quoting him directly, but he said, we often suffer from uh, being too much like Job's friends. Job's friends who began talking and said the wrong things to Job in kind of his depressive state and his really his trial and his struggle. And uh, he had two great slides on this. Uh, what he, he said that he often got when he, when he was going through and, and still going through uh, his struggle is statements like this, everything happens for a reason. God must have some amazing plan for you. Uh, are you still reading your Bible? Um, and then some people give him, give him words from God as well. He had one about lead paint that just made no sense whatsoever. God will give you, uh, God will not give you more than you can handle. Uh, never assume health. Are you sure? Um, is there sin in your life? Have you tried praying? Uh, they ask about Satan and demons. And they said, have you tried this? And they give them all sorts of things. These are things not to say when we have people, and especially students, going through these times. Uh, because they may not be the right questions, they're probably not the right questions or, or statements to be, to be saying. Uh, those statements are not helpful. Here is another slide that he had of things that are helpful to say and to do. How are you today? Not how are you in general, but today. You don't have to tell me the whole backstory, but where are you at today? Uh, I am praying for you. And, and, and not as a pat answer, like, oh, I'm praying for you, then not actually praying for them, but actually taking them in consideration every single day as you pray or, you know, frequently as you pray, that you actually put them on your prayer list. I'm sorry you are going through this. Uh, it's not your fault, but you can still say I'm sorry that you're going through this. This sucks. I don't know what to say, which is often true. I, I know I've been in that, that position before. I hurt with you. And things you can do, you can give a hug. And uh, guys with guys, girls with girls. Uh, sit with them. Listen to their journey. How is your struggle going? And then actually spend time talking with them about it. Talk about something else, completely different. And then on here he has shawarma. Often just taking them out for a coffee or taking them out for food or even just providing them food is the best thing you can do. Uh, because we find even in scripture, as, as Brett mentioned, but uh, as it shows in scripture, Jesus does a lot, of, a lot of things around food. There's a reason behind that. Food brings a comfort and, and a warmth to it that we can't bring with anything else. So here's some things that we shouldn't do, uh, especially as we're, we're talking to students going through difficult times, but also things that we should do and should say. And so I want to encourage you, as you continue to connect with your students, I, I guarantee there'll be students that are going through some pretty difficult times. Um, you are the ones who are building that relationship and who are able to speak in and do the right things and not the wrong things when, uh, when you're with them. So, uh, I really appreciate your time. We'll see you this Wednesday. And just so you know, this Wednesday, as well as being an Illuminate, obviously is a Salivate as well. So, so come at 5.30 for dinner. Dinner is free for you. And i uh, love to see you here. Thanks. See you in a bit. Bye.